Fun fact, I am actually recording this in 2017 still. Even though this video is debuting in uh, 2018, I had to actually record a lot of videos beforehand because I'm actually going to MAGFest in like a few days. Literally, I'm leaving for MAGFest on the 2nd of January, so I wanted to make sure I was covered uh, with videos for at least two weeks, so I'm recording a lot in, in advance. Oh, it looks like they're switching places on the star stage. I should have warned you that this can happen. So yeah, whenever you land on the green shuffles, uh, it'll literally just shift like one placement to the left. So the person in front will go to the back, and then the person in second will be in front, and you know, third and second, fourth and third, you, you, you get the picture. So yeah, I felt like doing that. I don't think I'm going to be the last one. So, you know, might might get lucky with hedging my bets right there. Or I could get very unlucky. We'll have to wait and see. There's a possibility that Bowser Jr. is also going to... Yep, he's also going to switch it around. So honestly, if I roll high in my next roll, I would not be disappointed in the least bit. Because I'd rather get, like, minus two or plus two over the other extremes. But I gotta say, like, I think this is a very creative idea for this type of board. I think it works very well. But again, because of how short it is... Like, I mean, this is the eighth turn. I mean, it's taking significantly longer than the first board, I think. And at least in terms of turns, anyway. And it is more punishing for the player, like, in last place, who keeps getting last places on all the phases. But again, it's a creative idea. Like, I kind of like the whole idea of this game. It's just, you know, it's... Like, I feel like it should be expanded on a little more. And maybe the extremes for every stage should not be as extreme or something. Something like that, anyway. If I get a 5 or 6, I swear. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just keep winning. I don't have a problem with that. So yeah, this is just so good for me. I got the first stage. I got the best reward in the first stage. I got the second best reward on the second one. And I got the best one on this one, too. So there's, like, no way that people can stop me. Like, everyone's literally going to lose more on this phase than I lost. It's just really, really unfair for the person who takes off like I am. Like, I'd almost be interested in, like, hearing, like, ways or solutions people have to, like, balancing this mode. That would be, that'd be kind of unique, I think, to find out if, like, people have ideas about this. Okay, great bars of fire. Okay, so this is pretty much what we have. Duck and jump to avoid the spinning fire bars. Seems simple enough. Seems like something you'd do in a Mario game. Start. We even have health bars, too. I feel like it's going to change direction or speed any minute now. Okay, yeah, it is kind of changing. Ah, oh, damn it. Daisy, have you done this before? Like... <laughs> Daisy honestly did really good at that. <laughs> honestly, kind of impressed. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, she is going to get the reward. But thankfully, the reward is, like, not too extreme here. Like, she just gets one more mini-star than I did. 
And with that, because I'm so impressed with her in that minigame, I'm fine with that, actually. Because I think she did a very, very good job. Okay, Boo's turn. Boo, you are a long way away from the ending, my friend. Ooh, and that's... Unfortunately, I think that's good for Daisy, because I think she was about to get that amount. Although she could end up rolling a 1 right here. Does the game know that I'm talking to it right now? <laughs> Does it know? Because I'm honestly convinced that it's listening to me right now. I'm actually kind of surprised she went with that. Maybe she is not convinced. Wait, do I go ahead and move? Wow, so I get like a... Hmm, interesting. Okay, so it looks like mini stars. You get more mini stars in the mini game in this cycle. That's interesting how I move on. Like, that, that seems kind of unfair. So if I get like really high movement like I did with that six... I'm gonna have a huge advantage going into this section. We'll see, though. We'll see, though. I guess one thing that could happen is if uh, they make it to the next phase, they have a good chance to just, like, completely mess up, because I'm way and far in front, and there's not much I can do about it if they change, like, the shuffle order, for example. Okay, this is actually really good for Bowser Jr., because he can actually uh, set it up so he gets the least amount. And I think he actually set it up right there to screw over Daisy, which is kind of funny. So honestly, I give you all the kudos, Bowser Jr., for playing strategically. I mean, he's going to need as much health as he can get, because he is way, way far behind right now. Like, there's no way Bowser Jr. can win at this point. <laughs> I'm just being extremely real. There's no way he can win at this point. So I'm trying to mash buttons to speed it up a little bit, just because, again, the constant menuing is uh, taking a lot of time. Okay, sorry about that. I got distracted for a moment. Uh, anyway, well, we can't leave anyone behind, so yeah. Bowser Jr. gonna get to that star stage right here. Gonna grab his two mini stars. And we're all officially on the last phase now. Just gonna take a look at those standings, and yeah, I am killing it. I'm like, I have double the amount of stars Daisy has. Not exactly double, but close enough. Like, if she had one less, I'd be exactly double. Okay, so if I get a six... <laughs> yeah, if I get a six right here, I can just close this out right now. Which would be hilarious. That almost happened, by the way. <laughs> That almost literally just happened, but, you know, that's okay. So I get to pick the uh, thing here. I'm actually going to pick Starring Artist. This is another game that I think is really cool in this game. Again, there's just some really, really creative and cool ideas for minigames. Controls. Draw a line. Use your stylus to copy the constellations you see on the top screen as quickly as possible. So yes, we're making constellations. That 
That right there is a triangle. The Goomba Triangle, you could call it. So you have to pay attention to your screen and connect all the lines that you need to connect with all the different pictures. So you have a Paragoomba and a Monty Mole. We have this. Doot, doot, doot. Doot. Oh, I got second on that one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, I was last on that one. That was a very weird constellation, though, for the final one, because there's like, so many lines. I was like, wait, does this connect to it? So I got kind of uh, held up on that. That's okay. Plus four is not too bad. Daisy didn't make up that much ground with that. She made up a little ground, but nothing substantial. I'm still, like, I'm at 40. She's at 25. The one way she could catch up at this point is if I get, like, the minus 5 and she gets the plus 10. Which could very well happen. Like, I mean, that's not out of the realm of possibility right now. But if I do good in this minigame, that shouldn't be an issue. Also, a lot of minigames. I'm glad I'm seeing that right now. Okay, musical snares. Controls. Tilt system to move. Collect as many musical notes as you can. Special gold notes are worth extra points. Okay, so there's one control scheme that we haven't seen yet that we are going to see here. Uh, we have the gyro controls, which of all the games in this collection, I, I guess we haven't seen the mic mini games yet either, but honestly, I do not like the gyro controls in this game. Normally, like, I think... The 3DS does okay with gyro controls. I don't think they're as, like... I don't think they're as annoying as some people make them out to be. But, I don't know, sometimes... It can just be really, really awkward to tilt your system like this. It's not the most intrusive thing in the world, but I wouldn't say it's, like... I don't know. I'd rather just control things normally as opposed to doing the gyro controls. And there's some minigames in this game that just have really, really bad controls as it is. We'll get into examples of those as we go through this game, obviously, but... I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of the gyro controls. Probably my least favorite Im implementation as far as a uh, minigame maneuver, I guess. At least when this game's concerned. Okay, Boo is moving to <laughs> another mini game. I mean, I'm okay with that because we're showing a lot of mini games, which is important. But I'm also trying to close up this victory too, because I really would like to win. I'm gonna be quite honest. Okay, claiming the cube. You love a good cube. Controls, move, A, jump, then A, A, ground pound. Jump and ground pound to color the white panels as they appear on the cube. That's interesting. So it's kind of like Mario Matrix, I think is what it's called. No, maybe not Mario Matrix. There's a game that's kind of like this in one of the GameCube Mario parties. Maybe it is Mario Matrix. I don't know. How'd you get both of those? Oh, whatever. Yeah, you can, uh... If you ground pound, like, the sides of two cubes, or the middle, like in that case, you can get a couple of them under your control. Ooh, wow, I actually got the victory at the very end there. Okay, I really hope I win this dice roll so we can see the Bowser Jr. dab again. Dab-tastic. 
There it is. Let's see it. I, I, don't, I don't think that's a complete dab, though. I think his head's supposed to kind of look the other way, but, like, come on. That's 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 as close as you're going to get in a Mario game, I think. <laughs> it's confirmed that the Mario creators hate dabbing. That's actually not a thing. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> okay. Not actually changing... I feel like that's something she'd want to do to actually have a chance at this game. But no, I, I guess I guess she's okay with me. Oh, I'm gonna get a one, so never mind. <laughs> of course, now I'm getting ones when I'm at the very end of the game. But that's okay. As long as I don't get the last one, I should be okay. I mean, even if I get the last one, I think I'm kind of untouchable at this point. But will Bowser Jr. roll a six right here? Nope, only half that. And I think he... Oh, minigame! You know what? Fine, let's do it. This is a very minigame heavy last few turns. Okay, so here we have Paddle Skedaddle. Stylus paddle. Race to the finish by paddling your canoe through the wind, winding, winding stream. To be fair, that is also how you pr pronounce uh, winding. Winding is probably not even a word. <laughs> okay, so you got a canoe. Fun fact, the one time I went canoeing, it was a terrible experience. Me and my parents uh, went camping, and we decided to give canoeing a try. It was not a good experience. We, uh, we definitely crashed our canoe twice. <laughs> and then one of the times when we crashed the canoe, I was actually under the canoe, which was a very scary experience. Like, the boat had tipped over. And I was under the canoe, so I went up for air to get out of the water, and all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, there's something above my head, I can't get to the top. So I had to, like, very quickly just kind of, uh, dip my head back down and get out from under there. It was not a fun experience. We were all soaking wet, it was, uh, it was awful. Oh, God. Bad memories thinking about that. Sorry to all those outdoorsy people out there who uh, kind of enjoy that stuff. I'm honestly uh, not one of those people. Okay, so we are getting very close to me having to get the... Uh... Oh, that's actually minus seven. So that's not a good thing to get for me, but I mean, I'm still going to be fine, but... We'll see what happens. First, though, <laughs> gotta have our mini game. Can't forget about that. <laughs> oh god. Hey, slow glide. Take it easy. <laughs> okay, controls. Tilt system up and down to steer. Aim for the balloons and pop as many as you can. If the gameplay becomes unstable, place the system on a flat surface to recalibrate. You can also press down on the control pad at any time to reset the sensor position to neutral. So yeah, keep that in mind if you're doing these gyro controls and it's like, becomes way too unstable. Because yes, there will be a chance that you might have to uh, recalibrate during a minigame. So just make sure you do that. But we'll see how we do with this. When it's very minor movement like this, I don't think the gyro controls are that bad. Because, I mean, we're literally just tilting this up and down. It's usually when it gets to, like, multi-directions. That's when I don't really like the gyro controls. 
Here it's like, whatever, it's very simple, it doesn't really interrupt gameplay or inconvenience gameplay that much, but there are definite worse examples of it. The uh, Bowser minigame definitely being one of those bad examples. But again, we'll see that in time. Okay, slow glide, take it easy. Or would it be slow glide, take it breezy, because we're gliding... No, shut up, Slim. I won! That's all we need to get from that, I suppose. And with that, we are going to move on to the final stage. I am literally untouchable at this point. I don't think there's anything that can happen. Even if, like, there's another minigame and I get last place... I don't think I can lose. This is my game to win. It's my game to win and not lose. That's basically what this is at this point. So thank you, Paragoomba, for the gift. I really appreciate it. Honestly, I'd like to see Bowser Jr. Uh, beat Daisy. Congratulations on finishing. Now we just have to wait and see how this all shakes out. Unfortunately, Bowser Jr. is not in a great position here, because if he rolls anything right here, yep, he's going to get the, uh, that's a shame. Bowser Jr. just got screwed over to the extreme on this game. He's going to end this game with, like, not even double-digit mini-stars. Now, Boo could actually get another minigame right here, so this game's not over yet. I think that is actually a minigame, wow. <laughs> but after this minigame, it's pretty much done. I don't think there's any major changes that could be made at this point. Okay, hide and splat. Controls move, avoid being squished by the tox boxes for as long as possible. So we have another book squirm like game. I'd say this is probably a, well, I don't know. There's another there's another game that's kind of like this, I think in other Mario Party games. I'd still say book squirm is a good example cuz it's kind of again lasting as long as you can. Oh, wow, they add more. Are they going to add a fourth one? Yep. Of course they are. Ah! Okay, I won. <laughs> I admittedly got kind of scared right there. It looked like uh, they had my number, but I think I just narrowly avoided um, a very scary death right there. And that's going to extend my mini star lead even more. Someone will get closer because there is that 10 plus mini star reward up for grabs. I have a feeling Daisy's going to grab it though, unfortunately. I don't think uh, Daisy can beat Boo, though. I think that Boo has this. For the second place, anyway. Yeah, yeah, Boo's gonna get second. <laughs> well, sorry, Ghost Boy. Get over here. <laughs> okay, well, there we go, guys. That was, uh... Starcross Starway or something like that? I don't know. We'll see what it is. I admit I forgot the name. <laughs> or Star Cross Skyway, something like that. Stars are involved. The sky is involved. That's pretty much what we got here. Man, almost getting double the... Oh, no, okay, no. Boo was a little closer than I thought, but still. 
That's a large number. That's almost 30 plus second place. That's incredible. Very, very good run. Very good run. And hey, I actually won something. <laughs> Starcross Skyway. Wait, I said that, right? Yeah, yeah, I said that. So yeah, I pretty much had the lead since the very beginning. I dominated. I actually was in last place at one point when I got zero on that first minigame. But aside from that, yeah, I really, really took off at the end. Here we have all the spaces. Uh, a lot of minigames, but honestly, I am okay with that. Mario Party, one of the biggest and greatest things about Mario Party is the minigames. So I'm glad we have those. So yeah, I definitely got a lot of good ones here. Well, I actually got every single variation of the positive creatures. Never had a negative one. And okay, the Lakitu is telling you if you ever had to be carried to the goal. That's kind of funny. Here's the minigames. Once again, won eight minigames. Fourth place, or second place in four of them. And fourth place in one's. So again, let's do what we did last time. Let's uh, analyze the stats here. I'm going to give first place to myself. I mean, eight first place, that's a pretty big number. And most of the time, whenever I didn't get first place, I got second place. And that one fourth place, it's a blemish, but a very small blemish on a near-perfect record. Uh, second place, I'm going to give to... I'm actually going to give to Boo, uh, believe it or not. He was more consistent. He didn't have as many first place, but he did have more second place, and he had like less fourth place, so I think he's going to be the uh, uh, second place person. Then Daisy, she had the second amount of first place, and she had a decent amount of second and thirds. And, well, she had a lot of fourths, but Bowser Jr. never got first, unfortunately. But, you know, because Bowser Jr. had the dab, I'm almost tempted to give him third place just based on that. Eh, whatever. I'll, I'll let you guys be the judge. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for uh, Starcross Skyway. Honestly, I had a lot of fun with that. But again, I had a lot of fun because I was in the lead. So it's like, can you really say that was due to the game? Or was that more due to my success? It's kind of hard to say. But that is going to do it for this weekend of Shut Up Nintendo. Uh, that's going to do it for this weekend of Mario Party Island Tour. I will see you guys next weekend where we're going to have a double dose of Mario Party. We're going to be doing Bonsai Bill's Mad Mountain and Rocket Road, the shorter games of Party Mode. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.